What's up guys, Jason W. is Revolution down here in the cave, and we are going to take a look at the present company 1982-1983 catalog. So excited about this. If you have not, uh, if you didn't um, watch the show the other day, uh, I got this from a friend. He found it in a state sale. He dropped it off for me. Present company was a a catalog showroom type of retail establishment. You would get this beautiful catalog and you would order from the catalog and then you would go pick up your items at the store. And while you were at the store, it was a, you know, fairly, I wouldn't say fully functioning retail, you know, store. It was, it was, uh, not as stocked as regular stores would be, but you could certainly buy other stuff while you were picking up your uh, your catalog order. So uh, I want to look at this. Let's let's take a look at this beauty, and a beauty it is. Also, the sound design AM/FM clock radio is a beauty. All right, let's get into it. Obviously, we're going to jump right to uh, so. Here's something exciting again, all of the locations. So this is uh, 82 St. Paul Street is about uh, 20 minutes from me. Panorama Plaza is a little bit further, maybe about 30, 35 minutes from me. Uh, Geneva is nowhere near me. Stone Ridge Plaza is literally uh, 10 minutes away and it is where Toys R Us used to be. So I don't know where this store sat in Stone Ridge Plaza. I don't know. Uh, but good stuff. Good stuff. There was one in Dunkirk, uh, Vestal, Webster, New York, which is about 45 minutes from me. It's where the Savers is. Uh, Parrington, you know, Fairport is near me. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go in. Let's check out. Let's check it out. Um, we'll do the toy section first. Uh, back cover just has some, some weird items. Uh, we've got the Tyco Road and Rail two complete sets in one. All right, so we've got some Tyco uh, race race tracks to look at. And here we go. Now remember, this is 82. Oh my goodness. Wow. Right off the bat, the Dukes of Hazard uh, RC car set. Uh, slot car, sorry. Cliffhangers. This was always something that I never had and always sort of fantasized about from seeing it in the uh, catalogs. Magnum 440, what is that? Ka featuring Richard Petty versus Carl Yarborough. So that's like an old NASCAR thing. The two-in-one race and wheelie set, the Tyco Police Pursuit, the Dukes of Hazard Slam Shifters, this is incredible. Right off the bat, this is incredible. The Dukes of Hazard Speed Jumper set. I have the Barn set, um, Barn Busters set. This is the Speed Jumper set. Look at that. Look at that. I assume that you just hit that jump and never landed ever in the history of childhood. All right, we got some more awesome Hot Wheels tracks, loops. Outstanding. The Smash Up Derby. Remember the Matchbox cars that would smash? You would, um, they would, uh, they, they would like flip, right? The, you would, you would smash them together and then, and then the, the car itself had like a flipping mechanism. The dented side would come up and then, um, and then you would just flip it back when you wanted to, uh, when you wanted to, change that there we go. that's a little bit better view the smash up derby let's get a better look now that i've got a little bit more zoom on the camera all right here we go yeah i already showed you this yesterday the absolute holy grails my sisters had that powder puff big wheel uh smurf big wheel is beautiful the chips big wheel just your standard uh big wheel and then my grail, the grailiest of grails, the Dukes of Hazard power cycle, uh, that is equally grailed 
right alongside the uh, Knight Rider um, big wheel. If I ever came across either the Dukes of Hazard or the Knight Rider big wheel, uh, I would be accomplishing a grail. Yeah, it's amazing. How much was it back then? Dukes of Hazard Power Cycle, $29.95. Uh, an empty box I saw on on uh, eBay years ago for two hundred dollars. An empty Big Wheels box, generally Duke's has. Uh, as I told you in another video, my sisters had this strawberry shortcake tricycle. This brings back a lot of memories. Love that. Your classic radio flyers. Your bikes. It's all good. Um, you know, makes me want to watch Rad again. The girls' seats had the banana bike. I had something like this, obviously without training wheels, um, for my first BMX bikes. Uh, when I say BMX, I don't know if it was BMX or not, but this was uh, similar to what I had. I had the mag wheels, and, you know, you didn't know what mag wheels were until you got a bike with mag wheels. And then you just rode around all day being like, my bike has mags. Your bike got mags? Yeah, I got mags. Don't know what mags are. But yeah, that was similar to my, God, these classic, again, the banana seat bikes. We've got some, you know, remember it's 82, 83. So we're gonna be a lot of truck heavy, a lot of car heavy. There's no, oh, LJN. What's that? Is that Stompers? Oh, Rough Riders. Yep, LJN did Rough Riders. That's a Rough Rider right there. Some good stuff here. Just your standard boy toys, I guess. Oh, yeah, here we go. Heavy Star Wars. Very nice. The Empire Strikes Back figures in 1983. I almost feel like these should were like a little bit discounted, maybe. You've got the uh, the Empire Hoth Wampa. You've got the Starship. No, you've got the um, what is it? The Scout Walker. There, that thing of beauty. The Millennium Falcon, $34.95. Nope, $29.92. Discounted, $29.92 for that gigantic Millennium Falcon. Classic. Classic Star Wars figures from Kenner. Oh, I used to I used to have these. These little PVC style figures, the micro collection they're called. They had these little bases on their feet. I remember those. I, I did have those. Uh, my friend, my best pal Howie, had the uh, Ewok Village. Uh, regular, not 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 the micro. The Ewok Village was awesome. It had quicksand, had a net that came down. Great stuff. GI Joe is uh, making its way into eighty two, eighty three, as you can see. But it's obviously not dominating anything at this point in time. It's very basic. A few figures. Nerf, we got Nerf ping pong. How much were the figures? G.I. Joe figures were $3 and, oh, $2.69. $2.69 per Joe figure. I love that. How much were the $2.69 for the uh, Empire Strikes Back figures? What's this stuff? Just BB guns or whatever, Cowboys and Indians, I guess. Lego. Nothing like the Lego of today, obviously, where it's everything is, you know, character. Let me adjust to the light here. See if it gets better without glare. Oh, yeah. It's a little better, I guess. No, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> Your Lego sets. sure lego sets back then you know what expensive 
The number two, the Legoland Galaxy Explorer. This thing right here, $48, uh, $38.90. Because you, I think you had, I think you got discounts if you ordered from the, uh, the catalog, I think. Lego has not really fluctuated in price. The Legoland Space Beta 1 Command, this thing right here, in 1982, $41.95, $10 off with the uh, present company deal. They, they have not fluctuated in price. Lego was never cheap. Oh, this is cool. The, uh, <laughs> the parachute comes out of the back of the... That might be something I want. You remember I said I was going to buy a toy and a household item from this catalog? That's kind of a, a unique item right there. We got my Air Jammer Road Rammer. This I had. This might be an item that I go after as well. Um, this might really be an item I go after. Team America. Team America Super Stunt Dirt Bike. I might go after that. That I might look for. I had this. You turn this crank. There's a crank here. You can't really see it. You turn the crank and somehow it releases the bike. And the bike really does stay on its wheels for a little while. And the guy comes off and he's, sometimes he flips over the handlebars. I had that. I had that. I'm going to go after that. I'm going to look on eBay right now for that. Well, when I'm done here. We got board games. These, this I have always, always seen in catalogs, always wanted, never had this weird bounce thing. I always have seen this in catalogs. The pogo stick, the wood burning kit. Every kid got a wood burning kit, burned his finger. There was a kid on uh, my street, my childhood street there uh, in Chile, West Cannon it was called. Uh, he made me a Hulkamania um, piece of like balsa wood or whatever and uh, painted it yellow did Hulkamania letters with his wood-burning kit and then painted it. The Erector set. You said Erect. All right. Classic Viewmaster stuff. That's a little bit of a higher-tech Viewmaster. That's a, like a projector. Here's your handheld Viewmaster. The Dukes, the Muppets, the Smurfs. This is cool. I remember that. The Viewmaster Showbeam handheld projector. Great. That's cool. A little bit. Little Orphan Annie set. Hot dog stand. Spirograph. Snoopy Snow Cone Machine. Light Bright. Some kind of remote controlled doggy. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this. Look at how much were these back then. So the, this this Pac-Man forty four ninety five, and then the mini arcades are still sixty dollars in nineteen eighty two. Sixty bucks each in nineteen eighty two for these three. Simon Pocket Simon Merlin. A couple of board games, incredible stuff. What is this? Like a talking talking uh, Monopoly. It's a little advanced. Dark Tower. These are, these are just visually iconic. Visually iconic 80s items right here. These two. You got like a mini like generic arcade here. Number 12. $29.95 for the Cosmic Clash. So if your mom's not paying 60 for those, you're getting Cosmic Clash right there. That's your drugstore Atari game right there. Oh, the sports stuff. God, I used to love this page. These three, these, these, these three are just special. These are memory blasters. This, obviously, we know, the Rubik's Cube. But these three? <laughs> the horrible vibrating football game that every kid wanted and ended up having no idea what to do with it. 
and then for some reason you just always find it in your sister's room. I can't figure out why today. My sister would always steal my vibrating football game. I have no idea why. No idea. Oh man, this is this again. Memory blaster. That just that just wakes up the memories. Atomic arcade pinball. That might be something I look up to. <sighs> Strolling bowling, we got that. That's the pool table that I had. That is in that is on my grail list of greatest Christmas presents of all time. It is the Coleco pool table. I absolutely 100% had that. The, there's a picture of me with it. $36.95, 29 bucks if you get it from the catalog. I had this, and this was a favorite, favorite, favorite uh, Christmas present. Toss across, just classic. This, there's a million of these, and they've always been out. But this is the one that we all had. This is the one that we all had with the cartoon drawings on the pole. Right? We all had that. Oh, wow. Some incredible board games. The dupes, I, ha I have that actually back in uh, some pump room. Payday. Great Pac-Man game, Bargain Hunter. You know what's crazy? Again, I, and I don't know what kind of family you had, but I would get board games every year and have absolutely no idea what to do with them. No idea what to do with them. All right? No clue. Stratego, forget it. I'm not playing with that. Yeah, I would just get board games and then be like, I don't know. What do you do? Except your sorries and your monopolies. Like, everybody knew that. But these difficult ones, you know? Like, Bargain Hunter, it just looks nice. It's a gigantic box. It's got a ton of stuff to put together. It just looks nice. You don't play it. More board games. Some cheaper board games here. Maybe some games that are... Maybe for smaller kids, I guess. Maybe a Smurf game I have. That's in some pump room. Strawberry shortcake game. Perfection and Superfection, I absolutely had both of them. Um, they're fun. They're fun. Target put out uh, like a retro version. Got them for my kids for Christmas. Fell a little flat. Visually iconic right there. Willie Nelson guitar. Okay. There's some random stuff here. Good stuff. And then we get into the, you know, quote unquote girls' toys. seen a lot of the Barbies by looking at the Mattel catalogs. Little Orphan Annie and Sandy. Strawberry Shortcake making its way. Coming out. Alright, dollies. You know, you know the deal. The ride-along horsies. <laughs> and then we get into some toddler toys. Your classic Lincoln Logs. Yeah. Your Play-Doh sets. These two are visually iconic. Oh, so is this. Had that. So is this. <laughs> Oh, man, you see all this stuff that you didn't even think about having like this. <laughs> like, I had it. My sisters had it. We had it. These. It just brings you back to, like, times that you just totally forgot. You know, five years old. With stuff like this. Had it, though. Because then, like, you find it, like, you know, my grandparents had, like, a, had, like, a, um, a, like, a storage, like, storage cabinets in their garage. 
and you know, I'm 12 or 13 years old, and I'm going through the storage cabinets, and I'm finding, you know, I'm finding like that school bus. Where is it? I just went by. Like I find this like laying around my grandparents' storage cabinet. I'm like, oh yeah, I had that. All right, and some real baby stuff here. Baby, baby, baby. All right, so we do the baby stuff, and I'll tell you what we'll do next. That's the toy section. Um, I'm gonna go through this whole catalog myself, obviously. And then with you guys, look at all this stuff. We will do, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? I don't know, you wanna do the sporting goods? Maybe, maybe starting, maybe tomorrow we'll do the sporting goods, right? Take a look at some of this good old stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll go through that. We'll do the electronics. We'll go through everything. I mean, this, this, this was like tools. I don't know if anybody wants to look at tools. You know, I, I kind of don't. You know, but uh, yeah, we'll do the... garage door opener yeah we'll do the uh, we'll do the sporting goods tomorrow and then eventually we'll hit the electronics section yeah look at all this oh yeah we'll do this section okay so we'll do sporting goods so there you go your first look at the 1982-1983 present company catalog. See y'all next time. Good night now.